Hello and welcome to the uh, next session of Measurement in Industries for Semester 5 IC. I am your course instructor Moshan Pandya and we will be uh, looking into displacement transducers. As we have already done pneumatic transducers in the previous session, we will uh, go ahead with optical transducers today. Where optical transducers uh, have different types, we will be uh, starting with basic principle of optical transducer and then we will see one by one uh, the different transducers uh, in two parts of the session. So, optical transducers basically what optical comes into the picture, we will be, uh, 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 we will be supplying uh, light source through emitter lens to the object and object will reflect the ray and that will be again sent to another uh, device called PSD which is position sensing device. So light is uh, sent to object and the reflected light is condensed to the PSD and the receiving lens will be concentrating at PA, uh, the uh, light, reflected light, light ray or the PSD and the two outputs, output A and B will be compact. Here the position of the device is changed, then the image formation of the PSD will differ based on the angular position of the object and the reflected light. So if two of the, uh, these two uh, outputs are A and B, then in that case we will be calculating the displacement by using spark coefficient and offset C, like displacement is equal to A upon capital A plus B into A plus C. This direct formula you can remember for the displacement measurement with the basic principle. So here the uh, value measure is not luminous, not rightness. We simply check the time of receiving signal and sending signal. And uh, so that's why linear output uh, proportional to the digital difference and position shift can be calculated. So here we will be having intensity based sensors, triangulation sensors, time of flight sensors, confocal sensors and inframatic sensors where uh, triangulation and time of flight sensors are already uh, asked in GT papers uh, then uh, one another subtype of inframatic sensor is also so we will be uh, looking into them one by one very quickly. Let us start with the intensity based sensor. So one generic term for this type of sensor is photonic sensor. Commercially photonic sensor is adopted. When you see transmitting fiber and receiving fiber. The fundamental dimension, fundamental dimension that you send the uh, ray to the object and object will reflect the ray. It will be received by another receiver and we will be measuring the distance. This is the simplest form of the all uh, uh, optical measurement systems and uh, it consists of the light like, source and detector and here we will be using optical fibers to transmit the light. Looking into this picture, we will be having different topologies concentrate then concentric carbon outside, inside, hemispherical and random. Here you see the black spots are receiving fibers and white spots are transmitting fibers. So this way pattern will be generated and here output voltage and distance will be having such kind of relationship you see here where the maximum peak, we say transition, optical peak will be shown as uh, on the middle portion and the back slope and front slope. So this is the characteristics of the uh, distance and output signal. And actually output signal will be converted from the light intensity received by the detector. This dash line shows the low target reflection and that whole line will green color will be showing the higher target reflection. Let us see limitations. Now for 
all target objects pre calibration is required so it, it indicates that for a specific object or target you can use one special system any change in the signal intensity will be interpreted as resistance change because this is intensity based sensor and uh, 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 these are all are the uh, different locks in the resolution like say illumination intensity variation optical connection loss then variation of the target reflectivity dust dirt etc this all will give you interpretation in the distance in so uh, looking into, into this limitation we have to make the choice of our sensor next is triangulation sensor here triangulation means we say uh, it comes from the triangle where the distance of position will be determined by the company two similar triangles and uh, this all uh, you know, com uh, comparison of two similar triangles that simple formulation that uh, you have already done in the school time that we will be seeing that simple formula was again here you see here one bigger triangle is formed with a side B and side P e, and another small triangle with side F and side G that PS is the position sensing device is again uh, here uh, required and the red spot you see on the uh, smaller side uh, that is required for the laser generation and again two triangles are formed where we will be comparing the similar size say D to F and E to G so by ratio it will be D by D is equal to F by G where D is the distance that we want to find out so looking into the formula this unknown distance E and F are the known distances G is the distance to the pixel in the PSD that is recording an image which is reflected back to the, uh, uh, the PSD from the object and uh, by using this formula of this middle triangle we can calculate the distance B the laser spot is imaged on the linear detector array that is shown by uh, making this uh, yellow globe on the uh, diagram and the DRS partners detector pixel rotations combined with the optical magnification, laser beam, size etc. This all are you know uh, uh, affecting your final reading. So very meticulous calculations and very uh, precise calculation is required here. And uh, please keep in mind that the uh, sensor head must have a minimum width to provide the distance between the transmitter and detector. And one more point is to be noted here that the, it is not be used to sense inside the object with the narrow openings. Okay. So this is one of the limitation that you remember and the requirement of such uh, measurement with the narrow opening will give, uh, will give uh, knowledge of another type of sensor. Commercially, commercially it will be used for 10 mm to 1 meter range and uh, it is not suitable for a very clear and transparent object because see very transparent object like say glass, water, a liquid surface uh, that will not reflect the entire amount of the light and so uh, the, the visibility on the PSD or the laser spot will be very poor and this cannot detect the uh, distance so clear surfaces are not suitable for this kind of system so if the object is uh, transparent we cannot use this calibration sensor With this, our first part of the optical transistors finishes and in next upcoming optical transistors, we will be looking into time of life, on focal sensors and infrared sensors. Thank you. Thank you very much.